fast as you can. Two seconds on the blocks. Dead start. Throw it up there. Nice. Good. Speed, good. Excellent, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. July. Good speed. 30 minutes outside of Montreal. It's here in gyms like this one that hockey season starts. Out of the spotlight, away from distraction. NHL players have a two month window over the summer to get their bodies into peak physical condition before training camp opens in September. The time each player spends in the gym is an investment into their individual performance. There's an understanding that every rep they put up now will pay dividends later during an 82 game schedule. This is where every hockey season begins, the workout. At Acceleration Performance Center, located inside Chateau Guy Arena, Mark Lambert, Tampa Bay's Director of High Performance and Strength Coach, is preparing Lightning players for the next eight months through weight training and plyometric exercises. While the group is small, each player is at a different stage of their career, presenting Lambert with the challenge of meeting everyone's individual needs at the same time. We know what we do in season, so we kind of tailor the summertime towards what we're going to do in season. So it's a nice progression, it's a nice flow into it. The way I train them here is that I, I put them in, in groups of individual needs. So we, we have programs set up for guys who, you know, are young in training age and need to gain a few pounds. And then we have programs for guys who are a little bit older who don't need to gain much more muscle mass anymore. It's all about power, it's all about rate of force development and, and whatever the objective is. But that's how I set them up. Training day begins with the Lightning's youth. Prospects and burgeoning NHL hopefuls like Alex Barboulet, last year's surprise standout in preseason. The undersized forward continued his strong year with the Syracuse Crunch and is looking to take his game to the next level. This is the second offseason that I'm coming here. Uh, Mark does an unreal job with, with us to uh, make sure we prepare uh, mentally and physically for the camp. I want to gain some weight, I want to be faster, I want to be more explosive. We do a lot. Uh, um, legs, uh, squat, deep squat, uh, lunge. Uh, all exercises are meant to be more explosive for, to, for me to be more explosive. So uh, when I get to Tampa, I'm going to try to do it the best that I can. And I don't think I'm going to put too much pressure on my shoulder. Uh, I'm probably going to do the same thing as last year. Just get, go there to have fun and uh, make sure I leave a good mark. Barboulet's training partners are all looking to make a good impression in September, but only one has had a taste of the National Hockey League. Danik Martel joined the Lightning almost one year ago and has played nine games. In his first summer training with Mark, he's looking to round out his game in hopes to more regularly contribute to the Lightning's success. I didn't know Mark before uh, this season on the ice, uh, but I worked a lot with him because I was not playing often and I, I like his training. I like the way he prepared people. Uh, yeah, I'm quick on the ice. I, I work hard, but I think getting stronger against big guys like Shara or, or people like that in the NHL that are way bigger than me, then it, it's good. And training with Mark, he, he's improving that part of uh, the power, power strides, the, the first three steps, uh, getting your speed, but keeping it too. So I think that the workouts that Mark is doing is really getting improved for the next level of the games. My focus has always been on, on speed. Uh, if, there's, if, if you have an edge on speed, then you have the biggest edge out there, especially in the past 20 years, I'd say. So depending on where they are in their career, just gaining strength will make him faster in the first couple of years of training. But after that, after he gets strong, it's, the focus needs to be on power and rate of force development. Sports is a breeding ground for competition. That's it, Joe. That's it. Good job. Training partners now will be competing against each other for roster spots once camp opens in September. But here in the gym, competition manifests itself more from a place of 
motivation. There's a mutual desire among everyone training together to succeed, to push one another through the pain and reach your potential. From that spirit of selflessness comes the sense of team in its simplest form. It's an invaluable byproduct of these workouts that will serve as a foundation from which teams can build upon over the course of a season. It's easier to push each other. You see what the, the guy do beside you and uh, you try to get better. So you always want people to push you around and just try to improve yourself, but by helping other people. And I think if we want to be a better team, then helping the guy beside you is always a good option. I think it's a friendly uh, competition. All the guys trying to push everyone, uh, each other. You try to push each other to, to get better, to get stronger, and uh, it's always fun. Like, uh, you know you're going to see those guys again in September and maybe for the rest of the season, so it's always fun to have uh, some guys that you, you played with in, during the season. A lot of these guys are, are living at home. Uh, a lot of these guys live here. A lot of these guys are from, from the Montreal region. Some aren't. The Foot Brothers were here for a little while, so it's 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 good to have guys come in also. So it gives them the camaraderie, you know, of, of meeting everybody in there. Obviously, they're going to play together, so it's uh, good to have. Having teammates by your side through the rigors of training can be helpful, but teammates cannot replace family. This is Matthew Joseph's third summer with Mark, but it's the first one he'll spend working out alongside his brother, P.O. Bearing the fruits of labor's past, Matthew is showing his younger counterpart the ropes, what it takes to become a player in the NHL, as he did last year. And while he imparts his wisdom on his brother, he too is still learning how to develop his own body, not just in the short term, but also how to maintain his gains for the entirety of the NHL calendar. The game's so fast now, and um, you know you have to improve every summer, and I'm still learning every time I come to the gym every year. And Mark's bringing new exercises, he's bringing new stuff every year that uh, you know I have to adapt, and uh, it's challenging for me. And uh, it's, it's something that you learn as a young guy, and uh, you know you, you get to know uh, uh, those stuff as as uh, the year come up, and you know you, you get better every year, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do. The, the program changes every year, uh, so Matthew's on year three actually, and. Year one, we only had seven weeks. Year two, we had 13 weeks, I believe, or 12 weeks. So, so and this year, I think we have 13 weeks. So it's different every year. He still needs to put on some muscle mass, not not that much, but strength, obviously, and he can't lose his speed. I think he's starting to see, um, you know, how my body reacts to, to his training. You know, personally, I, I think I've, I've improved a lot physically with Mark, and I'm happy to, to come back here every summer and, you know, get better and get stronger right away. And I think uh, on battles and stuff, I want to be better. I want to be able to maintain that um, core strength more all year and um, I think Mark and I are working a lot of, about that and you know keep, keep maintaining my weight as well. It's fun to be with Mark, it's a good atmosphere in the gym and it's guys that I know, it's not too far from where I live so um, you know it's, it's been good the last few years. It's something you have to really prepare, uh, a season is long, it's really demanding it physically and you know training and training hard and training with a pace and and then training some stuff that you have to improve as well as some stuff you're good at is, is important for the start of the season, but it has to stay for the, for the whole season. Like I said, it's a long season, so you have to maintain that strain all year. And, uh, you know, I think uh, with Mark so far, it's been good. 82 games in 28 weeks and playoffs. Its effects on players differ, but will always exact a toll on their bodies. For someone who's been in the league as long as Alex Killorn, you understand injuries are a part of the game. During summer workouts like these, veterans like Alex must rehab, rebuild, and recondition themselves to mitigate further injury during the season as best they can. You know, I'm getting treatment done before almost all my training just to make sure I'm loose and ready. And those are things that you learn um, being in the league for a certain amount of time. I haven't dealt with too many um, injuries, especially in the summertime, but uh, it was good. It, was, it wasn't, you know, a terrible injury where I needed surgery or anything. It would affect me a little bit, but, you know, walking around and stuff like that, it wasn't really bothering me. So I didn't think about it too much until I started getting back on the ice. And then you start to feel it a little bit, but um, that's kind of part of the process of getting back. I spent a lot of time on my knee this summer and uh, a lot of time working on my flexibility. I think that right now is the best I've ever felt um, in the summer going into a season in my, my entire career. Alex is 29 years old. He's not 19. He's not 20. So I started working with Alex in 2012. So what is that? Eight summers or seven, seven or eight summers. So in the beginning, the, the, the focus was on a lot of strength, 
a lot of power. And now we keep working on that. But in terms of little injuries that happen over the course of a season, of two seasons, of four seasons, well, in the summertime, you really, really have to, to work on that. So we had one issue at the end of the year, not a big issue, but still over the summer, we need to, you know, he, he needs to get treatment and we need to work on prevention of those little issues coming back. Good. Hips high, transverse tight. For me, there's certain things that in my training have evolved and he knows me, my body just as well as I know myself because we've been together for so long. So there's certain things we've cut out of training, certain things we've added um, that have really helped me as a player just because we know each other so well. I think with me, when I was coming out of college, it was a lot of heavy lifting and and training and getting bigger and stronger but um, as you get older it's more injury prevention uh, making sure you feel fast on the ice because the league is changing so much I think for me personally strength right now is not an issue and I can get my strength throughout the summer but just making sure I'm feeling great my hips my back everything uh, is the most important part of my training the workout it's where every hockey season begins as the window closes on their summer training, the players all recognize that the hours of strain they've endured in the gym will ultimately pay off when the puck drops in October. Each weight lifted, every exercise Mark Lambert has put them through has been done with the sole purpose of getting their bodies in shape. What lies ahead of them is a gauntlet of 82 games that will span the next eight months. They've all put in the time. Now, they must reap the rewards. It may not look like it, but hockey season is back, and we're ready.